Now, if you're not aware, I have one of the largest resources here in the UK of AC tested chargers. I've reviewed a whole host of AC home chargers and a couple of uh, free phase business commercial chargers here on the channel. I've took them apart, I've reviewed them, I've tested them, I've seen how their apps work. And I would like to say I'm probably one of the most qualified people here in the UK on YouTube to talk about what EV chargers to go for. In fact, a lot of people do ring me up personally for recommendations or I've been asked to consult for press articles or also for businesses or housing companies that are looking to put charges in. But I don't normally discuss or review or talk about any charger that I don't physically get my hands on. So it's very unusual for me to do a video about a new announcement of a charger that I've not touched. And the reason is I'm a huge fan of Octopus Energy and Octopus Energy have some of the most inventive electric car tires in the UK. So when I heard that they've got a new charger coming, I couldn't wait to reach out to their press team to let them know that I would love to get my hands on one. And as soon as they get some out, I will be able to finally get my hands on one of these chargers and review it. So this video is more of a speculation video before I've signed any NDAs or non-disclosure agreements. A couple of things we actually do know from Octopus Energy, but also some theories I have about this charger before it comes out. Now I will be getting my hands on one of these, like I said, if you want to see the full review, go and click subscribe, hit that notification bell, and when the video is out, you will get to see it. But if you can't wait and you need an EV charger now, if you head to evnick.com forward slash charge, there's a code to get £25 when Octopus install an EV charger at your house. And the first, so many customers getting an EV charger, the Octopus branded one, will get 5,000 free bonus miles on Octopus Go Intelligent or Octopus Drive Pack. Let's start off with what we know about this charger. Well, first of all, we know it's gonna work on Octopus Go Intelligent and Octopus Drive Pack, two of the big Octopus Intelligent smart tariffs for EV drivers. But we also know it's gonna be Kraken integrated, so basically part of the Kraken system. Now we can guess that it will also be one of the very first Mercury adapted chargers by Octopus Energy, because Octopus helped create Mercury which is, if you don't know about that, there's a video up there you can watch about if you want to learn more about Mercury. But I have a speculation that because it's going to be on the Kraken billing system, that even if you're not with Octopus Energy, I speculate it will work with other Kraken billing partners that also use the Kraken system. Now, prices, we don't know yet. So this is purely speculative, but I imagine it will be about 895 installed which fits in with the current Octopus sort of price plan of other chargers. Now, they could completely shock us, come in with a 795 price plan, but knowing what I know about the cost of manufacturing chargers, the cost of installing chargers and everything else that goes with it, I'd be very, very, very surprised if we saw under the £900 price, but it also wouldn't surprise me if Octopus announced sort of 795 So it's going to be around about that don't suddenly think it's gonna be 500 pound. It, it just wouldn't be possible or feasible for Octopus to do that. Manufacturing this charger is more about, so Octopus have a larger share of the profit margins that come with installing EV chargers rather than buying them from third parties and then installing them. It's so they can control the whole supply chain and also they don't have to worry about shortages of chargers running out because they control that supply chain. Now the great thing about it being an Octopus Energy charger is you won't need another app for your phone. It will be controlled from the current Octopus app, just the same way my Cozy Heat Pump is. So for my Cozy Heat Pump, I go into the same Octopus Energy app and there it is under devices. And that's where this charger will be. It will sit in that. Now, the important part is if you leave Octopus Energy, you will still be able to control the charger. You'll just need to get the Octopus Energy app. So you will need two apps if you're going to have another energy company. And you'll be able to see your Octopus charger in the Octopus app, even without having the energy supply off them much the way Cozy customers are also able to control their Cozy heat pump, even without being with Octopus Energy. Now, I will tell you now that the competition and electricians are going to be pissed about this. They are gonna be really panicking about what Octopus making an EV charger means for their business. And I'll be honest, I think that we will see some more charge firms, manufacturers go bust this year unless they have a massive rapid reduction or changes in the processes, the way they make their chargers, I think that it will really affect the amount of sales they get with Octopus now making their own EV charger because of Octopus's brand identity of trust and also quality. Now, one last speculation I have is that I do think this will be one of the first compatible 
vehicle to grid AC chargers on the market. I suspect Octopus have done some deals with certain car manufacturers OEMs for this to be the go to go fixed EV charger to control their car vehicle to grid AC system. Now, again, this is purely speculative, but I imagine that that will be coming and then out very soon because to the new vehicle to grid AC systems from what I've understood and the way they're going to work is they're going to be linked to a, a certain energy company for vehicle to grid AC and they're going to be linked to a certain charger. So it makes sense with Octopus Energy now making their own charger that it would be their charger that's linked to the tariff. So have some speculations down below on which company you think might announce that first. I think it's more than likely going to be probably Nissan and maybe the Renault group but we could see other manufacturers in there. I'd like to know which one you think. Now, Octopus Energy have always wanted to control every single part of the supply chain. That means from installing the hardware and owning and making the hardware to installing it physically at your house to then supplying you the electricity for those appliances. So first we saw heat pumps, which is what, what I've got outside my house. Now we're seeing EV chargers. I think that Octopus have got a whole host of other hardware systems they can make. I'd love to know what you think they might make next. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the EV chargers I've reviewed previously, check out this playlist here. And if you want to hear about that Cozy 6 heat pump, check out this video right here.